Congratulations! Here we are with only one more lesson before the completion of our course. Our goals today are to wrap up our study of linking and connected speech, and then to work a little more on the final project. First, let's look at vowel-to-vowel -vowel linking. When the final sound of one word is a vowel, and the first sound of the next word is also a vowel, Americans often use a y or w sound to link the two words. I'll give you some examples. Repeat after me and decide if there is a y or w linking the two words. He isn't coming. Y or w. Yeah, he isn't. He isn't. Wanna go out sometime? Yeah or wa? Wa. Go out? Go out? My answer is no. Yeah or wa? Yeah. My answer. My answer. How are they? Y or w? W. How are? How are? Was it extremely important? Y or w? Y. Extremely important. Extremely important. That's so unhealthy. Y or w? W. So unhealthy. So unhealthy. Did you see the pattern here? Words that end in the e vowel sound link to another vowel with y. Words that end in u or o vowel sounds link to another vowel with w. You'll practice vowel-to-vowel -vowel linking more in today's book exercises. Second, look at this way to really make your accent sound more American. I once had a student ask me, why do Americans swallow their T's? She was asking, for example, why we pronounce words like matter as matter and water as water. What happens to the T between vowels? Here's the rule. Before an unstressed syllable, the letter T is pronounced as a flap T, or a quick D, D, in American English. Americans like to smooth out the line. So take this case, a lot of. It's not a stop, a lot of. It's not a true T, a lot of. Instead, it's a smoothed out D, D, a lot of, a lot of. And in this case, wait a minute. It's not a stop, wait a minute. It's not a true T, wait a minute. Instead, it's a smoothed out D, D. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at one more. We're meeting later. They aren't stops. Meet, ing, late, er. They aren't true T's. Meeting, later. Instead, they're both a flap, d, d. Meeting, later. We're meeting later. The book exercises today will help you practice pronouncing T's in this way. Come on, show me your best American accent. Finally, today you will do a peer review of one of your classmates' practice recordings. You'll listen for things that he or she did really well. You'll also try to identify one or two things about the speaker's pronunciation that could be better for the final recording. You'll comment on thought groups, 
linking, and pausing. In Canvas, there will be a screen to guide you through this listening exercise. All right, you know what's next. Practice and repetition. Let's begin.